Hello students, welcome to maths class. We are dealing with the 3D, 3 dimensional geometry. So, we did some example problems, now we will do some exercise problems. Now, come to the question, first question, what is the question given to you? Find the coordinates of the vertex C of triangle ABC if its centroid is the origin and the vertices A comma B are given to us. Generally triangle means three vertices will be there, right. So, here two vertices are given to you and we have to find the third vertex by using the centroid. Centroid is given as origin, right. So, centroid is 0, 0, 0. This is 3D, right. So, if you take any point x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate will be there. So, first of all what is the given information to us? So, given that, right. What is that? So, A is 1, 1, 1 and B point is minus 2, 4, 1, okay. Or the two vertices, okay, two vertices of a triangle, of a triangle. So, we have to find third vertices, ok. So, and also origin is the centroid, right. So, given information is two vertices is given and origin is the centroid and centroid is given to us. Centroid is denoted by G, G is given as origin that is 0, 0, 0. So, consider C point as consider C point what is your C point third point no so you consider that as x3 y3 z3 ok. So you know the formula for centroid what is the formula for centroid centroid g is equal to what is the formula x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3, z1 plus z2 plus z3 by 3, right. Centroid of the triangle, 3 vertices will be given to us. Centroid G is given as origin 0 comma 0 comma 0, okay. So, is equal to x1 is 1, next point is minus 2 and x3 is x3 only by 3. Next y1 right is 1 and y2 is 4 and y3 is y3 only ok. Next z1 is 1 and z2 is 1 and z3 is 3 only ok. So, 0 0 0 is equal to come on 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus x3 by 3 right. Next 5 plus y3 by 3 and 2 plus z3 by 3. So, 3 points in the middle is equal to is there. So, we can equate x coordinate to x coordinate, y coordinate to y coordinate, z coordinate to z coordinate. Then you will get your x3, y3, z3 values. So, come on, minus 1 plus x3 by 3 is equal to 0, right. So, minus 1 plus x3 is equal to 0 into 3 is 0, x3 is equal to 1. Next, y coordinate to y coordinate, 5 plus y3 by 3 is equal to 0. So, 5 plus y3 is equal to 0 into 3 is 0. So, y3 is equal to minus 5. Next, z coordinate to z coordinate. 2 plus z3 by 3 is equal to 0. 2 plus z3 is equal to 0 into 3 is 0. So, z3 is equal to minus 2, okay. Therefore, 
we have to find what is the question vertex c right so vertex c is equal to what is that x3 y3 z3 so we got the points as 1 coordinates as 1 minus 5 minus 2 okay so that's all for first question now come to the second question what is the second question to us so if this one this one three points or three vertices right and this is the centroid of the tetrahedron find the fourth vertex so tetrahedron contains four vertices right three vertex are given to you we have to find fourth vertex and its centroid is given to us so by using the centroid formula we will get our fourth vertex okay so come on what is the given information to you given that so first the points are what is this a is 3 2 minus 1 okay and b is 4 1 1 and c what is c point 6 2 5 are three vertices right vertices of tetrahedron is given to us right tetrahedron is given to us our vertices of tetrahedron okay and also centroid is given to us centroid right centroid is denoted by g is given as 4 2 2 so you consider your fourth vertex as consider your fourth vertex right what is your fourth vertex as x4 y4 z4 now you write the centroid formula of the tetrahedron right so centroid of tetrahedron previously we have taken centroid of triangle now we are writing centroid of the tetrahedron okay so what is the formula it is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 by 4 4 vertices no triangle 3 vertices tetrahedron 4 vertices right so next y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 by 4 okay next z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4 by 4 okay so we got all the values isn't it centroid is given as 4 2 2 okay is equal to x1 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus x4 by 4 this is x1 right x2 x3 similarly y1 y2 y3 okay so 2 1 plus 2 plus y4 by 4 okay next z right so minus 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus z4 by 4 okay so come on this is 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 3 13 right so it is 13 plus x4 by 4 comma here 2 3 3 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 right 5 plus y4 by 4 and here plus 1 minus 1 cancel 5 plus z4 by 4 so we got two points in the middle is equal to is there so whenever it is like that we have to equate x coordinate to x coordinate y coordinate to y coordinate z coordinate to z coordinate so come on first x coordinate 13 plus x4 by 4 is equal to 4 so 13 plus x4 is equal to 4 4 is 16 x4 is equal to 16 minus 13 is equal to 3 
okay. Similarly, y coordinate to y coordinate 5 plus y 4 by 4 is equal to 2. So, sorry, 5 plus y 4 is equal to 4 to the 8, y 4 is equal to 8 minus 5 that is 3. Okay. So, next 5 plus z 4 by 4 is equal to 2. So, 5 plus z 4 is equal to 4 to the 8, z 4 is equal to 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Therefore, fourth vertex is right. What is the question? Find the fourth vertex of the tetrahedron. So, fourth vertex is equal to what is that? 3, 3, 3. That is your answer. Okay. So, now come to the third question now. Okay. So, what is your third question? So, observe carefully. So, show that a, B, C are collinear. Three points are given to us. We have to show that they are collinear and find the ratio in which B divides A, C. So, what I said collinear means points lies on same line are said to be collinear points. So, how we will show the given points are collinear means we will find three line equations. Suppose A, B, C are given A, B, B, C, C, A. If sum of the lengths of two lines is equal to the third line, right, then we can say that the lines are collinear, isn't it? So, come on, you take the points, right. So, what are the given points? Given that, right, first A point is 3, 2, minus 4 right next b point is given as 5 4 minus 6 and c point is 9 8 minus 10 okay given points so first you find out a b right we are finding one line right length the length of one line you know it very well what is the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square okay so is equal to what happens you consider this as x1 y1 z1 this as x2 y2 z2 okay so then what happens this is 5 minus 3 whole square next 4 minus 2 whole square next plus minus 6 plus 4 whole square okay so is equal to root of 5 minus 3 2 right 2 square 4 minus 2 it is 2 2 square minus 6 plus 4 right minus 2 whole square so is equal to it is 4 plus 4 plus 4 okay so this is nothing but 8 8 it is 12 right root 12 is given to us so we can write 4 3s okay 4 into 3 write root separately root 4 into root 3 so it is root 4 is 2 2 root 3 Okay. Similarly, you find out your BC. Now, no need to take the formula directly. You take the values BC, right? X1, Y1, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2. X2 minus X1, 9 minus 5 whole square. Y2 minus Y1, 8 minus 4 whole square. Z2 minus Z1 whole square, minus 10 plus 6 whole square okay is equal to root of 9 minus 5 that is 4 square 8 minus 4 that is 4 square right and minus 10 plus 6 minus 4 whole square okay so is equal to root of come on what is this 16 plus 16 plus 16 
ok. So, is equal to it is <coughs> 16 plus 16 30 2 32 plus 16 right 48 ok root 48. So, how we can write this one? We can write this as 16 right 16 3 is a right 16 3 is a 48. So, we can write separately root 16 root 3 is equal to 4 root 3 ok. Next you take a C A right C point as x1, y1, z1, a point as x2, y2, z2. So, 3 minus 9 whole square, 2 minus 8 whole square, minus 4 plus 10 whole square, ok. So, is equal to it is 6 square, right, 3 minus 9, 6, 2 minus 8, right, it is minus 6 square ok plus 10 minus 4 that is 6 square. So, is equal to it is 36 plus 36 plus 36 is equal to it is 108 is equal to we can write this as 36 into 3 right write separately root 36 root 3. So, it is 6 root 3 ok. So, now you take a b as 2 root 3 and b c is 4 root 3. If you add 2 root 3 plus 4 root 3 it is 6 root 3. What is the condition I said to have the collinear points sum of the lengths of two lines must be equal to length of third line. So, you take your a b plus b c right. So, what is your a b? It is 2 root 3 plus what is your b c? It is 4 root 3. 2 root 3 plus 4 root 3 6 root 3 which is nothing but your c a right. So, we got a b plus b c right. We got a b plus b c is equal to c a. Therefore, a b and c are collinear ok. So, after that we have to prove that at what ratio this b divides a c is not it. Question is find the ratio in which b divides a c ok. So, b divides a c where I can write. So, here I will rub this one right. So, b divides a c in which ratio? So, b divides b divides right the line a c in a b is to b c ok. So, is equal to a b we got a b as 2 root 3 right is 2 we got b c as 4 root 3 right. So, root 3 root 3 cancel now you are having 2 is to 4 2 ones are 2 twos are it is 1 is to 2 is the ratio. Okay. So, these are the three problems. Find the coordinates of the vertex C of triangle ABC if centroid is the origin and two vertices are given to us first question. So, just by taking centroid of the triangle formula we got that C third vertex of the triangle. Next second question is three vertices of the tetrahedron is given to us and centroid is given to us find the fourth vertex. Again centroid of the tetrahedron formula we have taken and we got our fourth vertex ok. And third question is these points are collinear show that the given points are collinear. So, what is the condition I said 
find the three line equations a b b c c a in those three line equa lengths sorry lengths of three lines right if sum of the lengths of two lines is equal to the length of the third line right so then we can say that the points are collinear after that at which ratio b divides ac means it is nothing but ab is to bc so root 3 root 3 cancel 2 is to 4 2 1s are 2 2 za. this is the required ratio at which b divides ac the line ac okay so very simple problems only small calculations are there calculations also simple only okay practice these problems perfectly that's all for today have a nice day